Chris Vanderdrift got off to a good start. And Shane Van Gisbergen was under, tr under pressure right from the start from the tower. A little bit of a lock-up by Vanderdrift there. And likewise by the number seven, Matthew Payne. That was the moment that Narptoa made a mistake and he did a good job to hold it all together. His engineer was a little bit more worried, but uh, he battled back. And Van der Drift continued to leave, but bit by bit, and just at the exit of the dipper, coming down the hill, and Gisbergen made his move, took the lead and never looked back. The gap stayed at about a second throughout the rest of the race. It was never in doubt. The man under pressure was Brendan Leach, and he really had to find his way and keep his nose clean as Matthew Payne, first of all, put him under pressure. It's Liam Lawson, our previous champion, watching on. And finally, Payne made his move, and he made it well, getting past Brendan Leach. And then Natoa decided he wanted a bit of the action too. And that was the biggest moment I saw for Shane Bergen, and so you can see how hard he was pushing. And it looked easy for him, but you could see from that moment there that uh, he was pushing all the way and took the checkered flag half a second ahead of Chris Van der Drift. Great racing by the two champions and a great way to start the weekend.